Hey guys, I'm Katie Ross, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Clover Boot Manager on the Steam Deck. I previously taught how to install Refind, which is also a boot manager for the Steam Deck. This is basically the same thing. According to the developer, this does not have any advantage over Refind. But you know, the more choices we have, the better. If you are using Refind at the moment, stay on Refind. But if you're here trying to find an alternative to Refind, then this is for you. Let's start with the prerequisites. For SteamOS, the first is you should not have any traces of Refind scripts or systemd services related to Refind. The second is make sure that you have set up your sudo password. You can do that on SteamOS by typing passwd on console. For Windows, you should not have any scripts or scheduled tasks related to Refind or ECUEFI. Next is you should have your APU drivers installed. If you haven't, I will include the APU driver for the Steam Deck in the description. And the third is you have to configure Unbranded Boot, which we will do now. Simply go to the Start menu, and then type Windows Features. Click this. Expand Device Lockdown. And then check Unbranded Boot. And then press OK. Next, go to Start menu again. Type CMD. Run as administrator and then type these commands or just copy these commands from the description and then paste it here. That's it. On SteamOS, open console and again copy the commands from the description and paste it on console one by one. On this part, you will not see your password while you are typing it. And that's it for the SteamOS side. On Windows, you will have to download something from the GitHub page. The link will be in the description. Click Code, Download Zip, and then extract the zip file. Open this folder. Open Clover Windows, right click, and then run as administrator. More info, and then run anyway. And then press enter. Open start, and then run task scheduler. Click task scheduler library, right click on Clover task and then properties. Tick this, and then check this one. And then press OK. Right click, and then click Run. Now close it, and then open the File Explorer, this PC, C Drive, One Clover Tools, open the status.txt file, and check if the Clover GUID and the boot sequence are the same. If it is, that means it's working properly. And that's it. You should now be able to boot Clover the next time you start your Steam Deck. But what if a big SteamOS or Windows update came and it messed up every boot entry that you have? To simulate that problem, I deleted all of my boot entries. So what we're going to do is shut down your Steam Deck by holding the power button, and then hold the volume up, and then press the power button once. Go to Boot From File. ESP, EFI, SteamOS, and then choose SteamCL.EFI. This will boot you back to SteamOS. And here's the cool part, you don't have to do anything. After booting to gaming mode, just shut down your Steam Deck and every boot entry that you used to have will be back. If you have any questions or you have any troubleshooting problems more than what I showed in the video, make sure to check the GitHub page that I've linked in the description. So that's it. I hope I help you guys. 
If you like my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.